وہ اس کل ملائکت جدول آدم فسا جدو اللہ ابلیس دس از اگین اے ویری امپورٹنٹ کوشچن بیکاز آدم واز میڈ دی وائس چیلنٹ آف اللہ نو آل دی سول سروس آف دس ڈیوائن کنگڈم دیٹ واز پٹ انڈر ہم بیکاز وین ہی از دی وائس چیلنٹ وین دیر واز دا وائس رائے برٹش وائس رائے ان ڈیلی دی ہول مشینری گورمنٹ مشینری واز انڈر ہم Only Allah was above Adam and all the angels have, put, have been put under him. They have to obey him. That is why, you know, we have reached moon. No angel has intercepted our way or no angel has come in the way. No, none. They have to obey us. Because we were given the faculty of knowing the hidden truths of this universe, the physical laws, the laws of the nature. We are knowing one by one. We are exploiting them. And all the angels have to obey. Even if somebody is going and committing a sin, the angels don't stop him. Because he was made the vice student. And he was given the option. Imma shakara wa imma kafura. He is going for committing theft. Well, let him go. Rather, you know, we can't move even an inch if these angels who are, who are you know, Uh, controlling the whole of this universe if they don't allow we can't walk one step but actually now all the angels the whole civil service of this universal government has been put under Adam and for as a symbolic you know phenomenon now they were asked and they were ordered to prostrate before Adam and And remember the time when we said to the angels, bow before Adam, prostrate before Adam. Fasajadu. And they all prostrated. And at one place we shall find, Fasajadal malaikato kulluhum ajmaun. All the angels, all of them, they prostrated before Adam. Illa Iblis. Accepting Iblis. Now here, one body can doubt Somebody can doubt that Iblis was also an angel. Because when these, these words, if we keep them before us, Fasadal Malaikat, Fasadadu Illa Iblis, all the angels, they prostrated except Iblis. So it appears, apparently, that Iblis was also from the angels. It's not so. Because in Surah Al-Kahf, that is Makki Surah. It has been made clear. Kana min al-jinni, fa fazakan amri rabbi. He was from among the jinnat. He was a jinni. But you know, He was very knowledgeable, he was very pious, and because the jinns were created out of fire, and the malaika, the angels were created out of noor, light, and fire and light, they are very close to each other. In Arabic, noor and nar, they are very close in root, noor and nar, wow and alif, and they are hoof and illah, and these hoof and illah, they get interchanged. So noor and nar are very close to each other. Malaika from Noor. There is a hadith in Sahih of Imam Muslim and the narrator is Hazrat Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha that Allah created the angels out of Noor, out of light. And this has been given in Quran that the jinns were created out of fire. So actually they are very close. So this jinni, this jinn, this, he was very pious and he was very knowledgeable and he was very close to the angels. And so he was also supposed to prostrate along with the angels. But he, he refused and he took to, the, to, took to pride and be, became proud of him. And he was from the, among the disbelievers and against disobedient people. And we said to Adam, O oh Adam, now stay you. Dwell you and your wife, Al-Jannah, in the garden. Now which garden is it? Is it the garden of heaven or it was some garden on this very earth? There is a difference of opinion. Most of the Muslim Tufasarim think that this is the heaven, some garden which was in heaven, Adam was created in the heaven and then he was, you know, sent down to this earth. This is the general perception. But you know, Bible in Jeel says that this garden was on this very earth. And you know, Eden, Adam, 
this garden of Eden, somewhere in this, this area which is now inhabited by the Kurds. This is a, an elevated, you know, area. And here they say it was a place where Adam and Hawa and, uh, salam, were kept. But you know there is a difference of opinion among the Muslims also. But general opinion among the Muslims is that this was in the heaven. But it was not the heaven to which the Ahle Iman will be returned after resurrection. No. Because from that heaven, once who, someone has entered, he will never be turned out. This was some place in which Adam was placed for some time as a testing period to give him an exhibition of what was to happen with him and his progeny. Because Iblis was his enemy, he will try his hardest to take them astray, away from the right path. So it was a manifestation of this phenomenon for this period Adam was kept in that garden. Ya Rabbus Kulanta wa zawdi kal jannah wa kula minha ragadan hai sashaytuma And now you eat from this garden with pleasure and delight from wherever you like from where, where, whichever tree you like wala takraba hazihi shajara But don't go near this tree Now hazihi is, you know with a finger pointing towards a particular tree Quran doesn't discuss it What tree it was but there are different, you know, traditions and different opinions and there's no need of going into detail because for testing you can fix anything. You can take, you can test everything except this and this will be a test whether you can obey this commandment or not because if you touch this thing then you have disobeyed. You are allowed to touch everything here except this thing. So actually, had his shajara so there is a pointing as if with the finger. Don't go near this tree. Fatakuna bin zalimin. Then you will be among the wrongdoers. Fadallahuma shaitan anha. But the shaitan, that Iblis, he made them slip. Both of them. Adallah huma, Adam and Eve both. A shaitan. This Iblis made them slip. Fakhraja huma mimma kana fi. And he turned them out, made them turn out, akhraja huma, and get them out from that place or from that condition in which they were. And we and we said, now you go down from here, and you will be enemies to each other. Iblis and Adam now they are enemies forever. Iblis was granted a very long life. Till the end of this world, he is living. He himself, personally, as Azil, that jinn, whom we call Iblis, whom we call Shaitan, he is living. Because we find it that he prayed to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, grant me this long life and I will prove to you that Adam is not faithful to you. And Adam's progeny, most of them you will find that they will not obey you, they will not worship you. I will prove this point if you give me this long life and that long life was given to him. So now this is the basis of all this struggle between good and bad, evil and good and haq and batil, falsehood and reality. This is actually a war going on between Iblis and Adam, the progeny of Iblis, progeny of Adam, the agents of Iblis and the agents of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And now you, for you, in the earth, there is a place to dwell and some provisions for a time, for a time which has a limit, which will be is it limited because this earth, life on earth will not go forever. A time will come, which we call the doomsday. This whole thing will be, you know, finished. فَتَلَقَّ آدَمَ مِنْ رَبِّهِ كَلِمَاتٍ فَاتَابَ عَلَيْهِ I told you before also that on this there was a repenting in the heart of Hazrat Adam alayhi salatu wa salam. I committed a mistake. I committed a sin. I disobeyed Allah. I, I believed this shaitan who is my enemy. فَتَلَقَّ آدَمَ مِنْ رَبِّهِ كَلِمَاتٍ He wanted to apologize and repent. 
to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But he couldn't find words, proper words for it. So it was the mercy of Allah, the blessing of Allah, that he himself taught, taught him the words. And those words appear in Surah Al-Araf, inshallah we shall read. رَبَّنَا ظُلَمْنَا أَنفُسَنَا وَإِلَّمْ تَقْفِرْ لَنَا وَتَرْحَمْنَا لَنَتُرَنَّا مِنَ الْخَاسِرِينَ فَتَلَقَّ آدَمُ مِنْ رَبِّهِ كَلِمَاتٍ And Adam was given, and Adam received some sentences, some words from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala pardoned him on his repentance, accepted, accepted the repentance from him. إِنَّهُ هُوَ التَّوَّابُ الرَّحِيمُ يَقِينًا Verily, he is the acceptor of tawbah and repentance. And he is merciful. And we said, now go down all of you from here. Hubut we shall find in the next section, inshallah, that it means going down from one place which is higher to a place which is lower. And this word is used for settling down also. From Bedouin life to settled life in towns and cities, this is also Hubut. This will come in Quran in the in the next inshallah hour. Kulna pe tu minha jamiyan fahima yaat yenna ko minni hodan. Now whenever there comes some guidance to you from me, from al tabeya hodaya, so whosoever will follow and obey my guidance, fala khofun alaihi walaum ya zanoon. There will be no fear for them, nor shall they grieve. Wal ladina kafaru wa kazabu bi ayatina. As for those who disbelieve and belie our ayat, our, our signs. Now these are two words. Kafaru, disbelieve. But kazzabu, belie. You say it is a lie. And who do those who disbelieve and belie our ayat? Ulaika ashabun nar. They are the people of fire. Hum fiha khalidun. And they will dwell in it forever. Now, as I told you, number one in this section we find the position of man on earth. He is the vice student of Allah on earth. He has been given the command even over the angels. All the angels prostrated before him. So he has the authority here. He can do whatever he likes. Number three, he was given the faculties of acquiring knowledge of everything. This knowledge, you know, is going, you know, to those dimensions which are astonishing. Let me quote here a couplet from Allama Iqbal. Uruje Adame Khaki se Anjum Sehme Jate. Kiye Tuta Hua Tara Mehe Kamil Namanjai. This man created of clay, where he is going, where he has reached. Actually, it is out of that knowledge, that faculty of knowledge, acquired knowledge. But in the end is the mention of the revealed knowledge. Imma yatiyamna kum minni hodan. So these are two types of knowledge. One is the acquired knowledge, the scientific knowledge that we acquire through our senses, our intellect, our reasoning. The other is the given knowledge, the revealed knowledge, which comes through revelations, inspirations, through ambiya, through prophets, these books of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is the second knowledge. Al-ilm or ilman. These are the two types of knowledge which we should understand discreetly, separately from each other. One knowledge is acquired through those faculties which were given to Adam alayhi salatu was salam. And the other knowledge is given through wahi, through the prophets and messengers of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So in the beginning was the mention of the first knowledge and the, in the end of this section is the mention of the second knowledge. فَإِمَّا يَاتِيَنَّكُمْ مِنِّي هُدًا فَمَنْ تَبِعَ هُدَايَ فَلَا خَوْفٌ عَلَيْهِمْ وَلَا هُمْ يَحْزَنُونَ وَالَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا وَكَذَّبُوا بِآيَاتِنَا أُولَاءَكَ أَصْحَابُ النَّارِ هُمْ فِيهَا خَالِدُونَ